Let's see what Miss Cassie is baking today. Mmm, smells like red velvet. Alright, hope you all can see us this time because... Alright. Let's see what's going on. Hey folks, what's going on? Alright, today I'm going to do a quick uh, baking scope with you all because I hadn't been on doing a baking scope for a while because I've been like super, super busy. But, I thought today, hey, with the hearts, <laughs> hey, but today I thought I would come on and do like a little quick baking scope, and what we're going to be making today, it's easy folks, super easy, so red velvet Oreo cookies, okay, so yes, they got something to do with it, okay, <laughs> and actually, we're going to be using chocolate chip cookies so I'm just gonna sort of show y'all what I'm going to do real quick pop it in the oven talk with y'all for a little bit pop it back out so y'all can see what's going on okay so first things first uh, if you want to share this broadcast feel free um, if you have an Android swipe up and share it with your your Twitter and your Periscope people if you have an iPhone swipe it left right and share it okay Taking my inner fat girl. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's you know what? It's Saturday. It's okay. You can hey, you can do this. It's all good. But it's a good thing. <laughs> so here we go, folks. This is what I'm doing now. I've already. I'm gonna show you. I've already cut up some slices of chocolate chip cookie dough. Now you can actually make your own dough if you like. That's up to you. But, or since this is a quickie, go to the store and get you some cookie dough. Now, let me tell you what I got just so you all can see because I actually cut that pack up. But, I like using Pillsbury and really, especially if I don't make it homemade, I like using Pillsbury. But, any kind would do. So, you can get, um, I'm sure this way. So you can get this kind, and I got a big one. So this is the other half of it that's sitting here. Okay. And what you want to do is cut them up. Because really, you're gonna wrap you're gonna wrap the chocolate chip cookie around this by another cookie. That's what you're gonna do. But it's gonna be good, y'all. It's gonna be good. Now, as I say, here's the red velvet. Okay. So you know this is gonna be good, and it's got the cream on it. Can you imagine it? Oh, good, honey. All right, so here we go. I've already got some cut up already, as you can see on this slab here. And I'm actually just going to remove the um, paper pieces away from it because we're going to get our hands a little messy. <laughs> so, while I'm doing this and you all are watching this, how have your weekend been going? Y'all can talk if you want to. They ain't gonna stop me from baking. <laughs> but basically, oh, I see the hearts coming in. Must been a good weekend. Okay, I can feel that. I feel you on that one. Must been a really good weekend. Well, uh, my weekend was pretty good. I had a interview. Well, actually, um, I did an interview with a client of mine who came in from New York for Ladies Tell All. And we had a ball. We actually periscoped it, and of course we was on Blog Talk Radio doing the live interview at the same time. So it was it was really nice. I had a good time with that. But here we go, folks. Now this is what your Oreo cookies look like. Okay, this is the red velvet cake Oreo cookies. That's what they look like. All right, so we want to get a few of those out. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do. All right. Now, this calls for you to get your little hands dirty, okay? So make sure your hands are nice and clean, okay? And the stove is already at 350, so my stove is heated up, so we're going to be good. Now, as you can see, here's one slice of um, a chocolate chip cookie. You're going to take your Oreo... And you're going to place it in there, just like that. Then, what you're going to do is take another slice chocolate chip cookie and put it over top. Alright? 
And folks, it's fair, it's like a sandwich almost. But what you're gonna do is you're just gonna mold this in. You're gonna seal the little cookie up. That's it. That's it. You're gonna seal it up. Boom. See that? Easy. Alright, and then you set it on your pan over here. And you just go to the next one. So that's fairly easy, folks. Fairly easy, but it's going to be oh so good. Trust me on that. Now, here's another one I have here already. And you know what? A good thing to do is when you want to do something with cookie dough, especially if it's store-bought cookie dough, you want to try to mess with it. Let it get just a little bit room temperature. Not completely, because you want to be able to really handle it and it don't be falling all apart and all that crazy stuff. But, here we go. Here's the second one. And you're just going to put it around the cookie just like that. You're going to seal the cookie up in here. Just that simple. You ain't got to do no crazy stuff. Okay. And that's pretty, that's pretty much it, folks. You, you're really just sealing the cookie up. And you're using the chocolate chips. Um, to ride probably help launch this this putty, but see, there you go. Now there's a second. They, now they look like biscuits on the pan, <laughs> but that's all right. All right. So this is like I said, this is a quick scope, quick baking scope. We're just gonna do our thing for a minute. And once again, here's another cookie. You're gonna place it on top, and you're gonna take another piece of. Or Oreo cookie, or should I say chocolate chip, and you're just going to mold it. Just going to mold it around. Now, if you think you need a little bit more, that's okay. It's fine. Depends on how you cut the um, cut your slices of chocolate chip cookies, especially when you're doing a store store broth. So it just depends on how you're doing it. Because here you're not scooping anything. So. Now there's another one. That was a little bit big, but what, what you want to make sure that you got this covered, okay? So that it's really sealed in all the way, all the way around. All right. Now, notice that was, you know, nice size. See how big this one is? Okay. So it just depends, and I'm doing various sizes so you all can sort of see um, that you can make it any size you want to. But as long as it's ooey and gooey, we good, okay? So now, I still have more. So you want to make sure, whatever you cut up, you want to make sure that you use all of it up. Especially make sure you got enough cookies for it. That's for sure. Now, sometimes the Oreos don't come even. That's okay. Make it even. So to press it down a little bit. Okay? So press it down a little bit. Then you want to take another one. Like this is sort of balled up. <laughs> That's okay. You just want to take it, get it together. And push it on top. And once again, you want to seal it in. Okay. Seal that puppy in. Okay. Boom. Sealed in. All right, now let's get this. Probably, I think I can do about probably two more. See, still got enough left. So I think maybe I can do maybe two more out of this. But this is fun, y'all. It's fun. It's quick. It's easy. Mm -hmm. I call this a grown-up snack. I don't really call this a child snack, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a grown-up snack. Okay, this is a grown-up snack. So it's fairly easy to do. And like I said, you can make your um your dough, you know, your chocolate chip um, cookie dough if you want to. That's up to you. Or go to the store and get the store-bought version and go for it. But, you know, if you want to do it pretty quick... And like I'm saying, I'm showing you right now, this is really pretty quick and easy. So, and yes, you're going to get your little hands messed up. <laughs> okay. So, it's just simple. 
And I think I actually can do, well, you know what? We're going to let this one be a regular chocolate chip cookie. Okay. And we're going to put this one on top of this. So we will have five that I'm going to pop in the oven. Okay. Now that's simple. That's, folks, it's so simple, so easy, it don't make any sense. Okay. Boom. All right. Now, since I really don't, I mean, I could do another one, but I think what I'm going to do, these are going to be my mm -hmm. little smaller uh, drops, and I'm just going to put them there just like that. So how about that? Okay. Now, when you put these in the oven, you're going to go by the directions of what's on the package for the um, cookie dough. Alright, so like I said, it's fairly simple. It's easy. You ain't even got to worry about nothing. And this is what they look like. Now you can make them smaller if you like. And I, what I did was I tried to do different sizes. But these are, you know, fairly big. But really, if you're doing your fat girl thing, one would be enough with some ice cream on top or some Cool Whip. But So I'm going to pop these in the oven. Okay. Pop these in the oven. Not going to take them long to cook. So while I'm doing that, I like to try to uh, clean my space up um, when I'm cooking. You know, I'm in the grunge look today, y'all. So, you know, I got the holes on today. I'm in the grunge look. But today is super cold outside. But super nice. The sun is out, but it's cold. So guess what? I'm in the house. <laughs> so it's a good thing to always try to clean up your area. So you don't have to be going through a whole lot of unnecessary stuff. Alright, my area is now clean. The cookies are popped in the oven. And like I said, now... I don't know how many of you all go get these, but these are pretty good. This is the first time actually that I've bought these. Um, and I didn't even know they had them. I was just in the store um, a couple weeks ago. And I saw them and I thought, hmm, I might can do something with these. Now, I do have another recipe that I can uh, make something quite different and uh, really quite wonderful with these but that's gonna be another segment okay and it won't be a quickie it's gonna be a little bit longer unless I figure out how to do it quicker but um they're pretty good they're not overly sweet but they're pretty good so you all should um go get some of this here because it's, it's really good anyway all right the cookies are in the oven and they're doing their thing so while they're doing their thing, I'm going to get my plate ready. Because the ones come out, I'm going to show you what it looks like. And you want to always have you a spatula. You never want to pick them up. Okay, because so they're going to have to cool off just a little bit. And um, they're going to be pretty good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually come back. Okay, we're going to let these cook for a few, and then I'm actually going to come back and let you see the final results. So, um, stay tuned, folks. Don't go nowhere. Uh, I don't know what happened to um, Skinny Girl here, but come back so you can see the results. It's going to be good, and trust me, it's a treat. Every now and then, you need to be able to treat yourself. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with treating yourself. Okay, now I just actually want to check to see. And it seems like they're doing pretty good. So, um, I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> so, all right, y'all. Stay close. Stay near. Hey, folks. I'm back. <laughs> all right. I'm back in the house. I'm going to give y'all... Hey, you're back in. Cool. I see you, Miss... Told Miss Miss Fresh, I see you. <laughs> okay, told you all I was coming back. Okay, now let me pick up one so you see what it looks like. Okay, all right, that's what it looks like when it comes out, just like that. Nice size, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so y'all see this plate right here? It's filled up with cookies. Yep. And of course, the last two, I didn't put one in, but as you can see how they came out. Now, if you want to, I can actually put like a dab of um, Cool Whip or cream on top. So you can like put cream on top, you can put ice cream on top, you can put your favorite Greek yogurt on top, you can put whatever. Now, this is what I'm going to do for you because I want you all to see this. I'm going to break into one so you all can actually see the cookie, okay? So let's do this one. Let's do this one. All right. And the cookies are nice and soft. So I'm going to break as you can see. Can you see that? Boom. There you go. Uh-huh. Nice. Good. See that cream up in there? Y'all see that? That is the, um, yeah, that's that red velvet Oreo cookie in there, okay? And surrounded by all this goodness and see on the back side? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So, I thought I would do that with you all today and do it like a little quick thing. This is a nice little snack, though, okay? Very nice little snack. I call it a grown-up snack because it is probably. Because <laughs> the kids ain't going to want all this together. They might just want... The Oreo cookie. You know what I'm saying? But with us, you know, we got to get a little fancy. So, yeah. And, matter of fact, let me just taste this one. Since it's, uh... Mmm. Now, that's a good combination. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. This is good. The cookie is still warm. It's nice and soft. Still got a little crunch to it if you need it, but it's good and it melts in your mouth. So can you imagine with the ice cream with it? Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Okay, folks. I'm going to go eat this one here. I need to eat it. Because if I don't, when the folks come to my house, they gonna eat all of this, and I ain't gonna have none. Actually, I have another batch of these made, but they'll be gone pretty quick. <laughs> so, with that being said, y'all, I hope you all get a chance. That's what it looks like. The <clears throat> Oreo cookies right there, but it's good. Nice and brown, and it's soft. It's good. It smells good. <sighs> Woo! All right, folks, I gotta go. But I hope you enjoyed my little short scope, my little quick scope with my little baking, um, red velvet, or red velvet cake, Oreo cookie, chocolate chips. <laughs> hope you all enjoyed. You all have a beautiful weekend. I holler at y'all later. We'll be back next week, maybe. Might come back tomorrow. Mm, watch out. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the hearts. Thank you, Miss McFresh. Appreciate you. I'll talk to you all later. Peace out. Thank you for tuning in to Baking with Miss Cassie. See you next time.